Should you run paid ads to support your next release? That is the question that I want to answer in this video. So I'm talking about Facebook ads, Instagram ads, TikTok ads. It doesn't really matter what platform you use, but I'm seeing a very problematic trend of people on YouTube and also on other platforms recommending you to just buy your way into your crowd and yeah, try to get in front of people, try to grab their attention and place your music there, hoping that this will eventually do something for your music career. I'm gonna dissect this for you, so stick around. If you're new to this channel, my name is Philip from Pick Yourself and I run this entirely to help you build a meaningful life based on your passion for electronic music. Whether that means building a career out of this or simply taking this as a super serious hobby. So make sure to subscribe, stick around for this, because at the end of this video I'm gonna share a little extra tip for you. So first of all, why should you even consider running paid ads? I'm not completely against it. The question is, what purpose does it actually serve? And I think it's a really bad recommendation to just say, okay, if you're super unknown and you're just breaking into the scene to just try to buy your way in, to take a shortcut. Yeah, so everything that sounds like a shortcut in the music industry is pretty much a bad idea because uh, you will always lose something on the other end, whether that's integrity, whether that's it, that is the depth of relationship that you build with people because it's probably really shallow if someone just stumbles upon you through an ad, streams your music one time and then leaves again. Uh, but there's something deeper in here, something really important, and that is ads are meant to put fuel on an already burning fire. And if you haven't created that fire yet, like that means a little bit of attention already, like a small circle of people already listening to your music, a few super fans. If you haven't created that, then it's probably a really bad idea to start running paid ads because you just don't know your audience yet. So in my opinion, it is much more healthy to first of all test the waters, make sure that your product is right, become really good at producing music and also releasing it. So I'm not saying you should just practice producing at home without releasing stuff, but I say you should release it first of all and try to find an organic way of growing an audience, see what works, see what type of people your music resonates with and then later on, once you know this, a couple of releases later, you can start testing things with paid ads because it's also a steep learning curve. You can lose a lot of money with paid ads if you do it the wrong way, if you don't know about targeting and so on and so forth. Um, but you have already this data from your previous releases and you've already gotten a better product. So at this point, it's probably a really good investment to start experiencing what works with ads and start with smaller budgets, build your way up and try to see if you can extend the already existing circle of fans, bring some of those fans into the closer circle, which are your super fans and so on and so forth. Now, a good way to support your organic growth in the beginning of your journey is to yeah, set aside a little bit of a budget to, yeah, for playlist promotion, to get on some serious playlists that are already, that have already an audience of, um, an audience of the right people listening to the right genre and try to place your songs in there by using something like Submit Hub. That's a website that's pretty common for these things. And then see if some of your music of the first releases you put out there get some organic traction. So people finding it through the playlist, but then keep on listening to this track more and more, which then triggers the algorithm, which then gives you more, uh, more plays and so on and so forth. And then later on you can see, okay, so this type of music seems to resonate with this type of people. Maybe for the next time you can then experiment with ads. So as you can tell, I'm not completely opposed to this. And now I've promised you at the beginning of this video a little secret tip. Now that secret tip is to mentally swap out the concept of paid ads with just putting fuel on whatever fire you can, you can create. So, if you have a budget to invest, the question is what, what type of fuel do you want to add to what type of fire? Maybe paid ads isn't really the type of fuel that's the right for your fire. Meaning you could save the same budget and for example invest it into a PR campaign, which for some people in some genres might make much more sense. Yeah? So hiring a PR promo person that helps you get into some of the prestigious blogs or magazines and so on and so forth to first of all build your brand before then maybe later on getting into the paid ads game. Because every dollar spent on paid ads, the return for that investment is usually much higher if you've already built a brand that people can associate with. So it's more like telling people, 
that already know you, hey, I've got something new out there. And the way to, first of all, get known is to, yeah, get a little bit of a scene inside attraction, meaning the people that are really involved, that read the types of blogs and magazines and so on in your genre, that they already know you as a familiar name and then tell their friends and so on and so forth. And then you can put the other fuel, which is paid ads, on top of that. So I hope that this was <laughs> more or less well explained. If you have any follow-up questions, then just leave a comment below. Super happy to hear from you. Also, if you have suggestions for new things that you want me to talk about, new questions that you have that you want me to answer, just leave a comment below. And now you can enjoy my little dog with a way too big stick in his mouth. That's it. See you next time.